decarbonizing the maritime industry poses a formidable challenge. Spanning all areas of shipping from inland transport through ports and terminals to the ocean-going vessels that serve global trade. Multiple stakeholders must engage in the process including policymakers, governments, ports, vessel operators, fuel suppliers, and equipment manufacturers. Faced with the problem of needing to cut emissions quickly, port and harbor authorities are evaluating investing in methanol as a fuel option that can virtually eliminate air pollution and contribute towards lower carbon emissions. In December 2021, the Swedish Maritime Administration successfully demonstrated a pilot boat converted to operate on low-emission methanol fuel by the Fast Water Consortium. A pilot boat is a small craft that transports a marine pilot to an ocean-going ship so they can guide the vessel safely into port using their local knowledge and experience. This type of vessel is, is uh, the most beneficial for the use of methanol as a fuel. My expectations uh, during this test period is that, that uh, we are going to find a solution for the long term uh, for an alternative uh, fuel for the pilot boats and that we find the similar characteristics to diesel. If these trials uh, work out, they will have a big impact on the, our fleet. I mean, uh, SMA today has almost 100 vessels and, and uh, a lot of them are, are pilot boats. And, and uh, this could be a good solution for, for the, the pilot boat fleet. The demonstration held in Stockholm provided a showcase for the ease and practicality of converting an existing marine engine to run on methanol, as well as the simplicity of the vessel fueling or bunkering process. The event was supported by the Methanol Institute and attended by the project's contributing partners, as well as two members of Sweden's national parliament. Johan Busser and Anders Hansen. It's a cooperation project between the European Union, between the Swedish Maritime Administration, and uh, we hope that we will see many more examples of this, not only in Sweden, but also in other parts of Europe and other parts of the world. Who spoke to the importance of alternative fuels like methanol in reducing carbon and pollution emissions on a local and national basis. We are gradually seeing more and more projects announcing the production of renewable methanol, either from, from biomethane, from gasification of municipal solid waste, forestry residues, and then obviously the production of renewable methanol from renewable power. We foresee that in the coming 10 to 15 years, the amount of renewable methanol being produced is going to increase dramatically. And we see new projects announced almost every other month or so. Fastwater is a consortium of Europe's maritime research and technology leaders engaged in a project to demonstrate the feasibility of converting existing harbour craft to methanol fuel. With funding from the European Commission, Fastwater focuses on high-impact outcomes, designing retrofit solutions for existing ships and designs for new buildings employing methanol as a future-proof alternative marine fuel to create a fast track to carbon-neutral shipping. The project aims to commercialize medium and high-speed methanol-fueled engines for shipping with a fast transitionary path to move waterborne transport towards a low-carbon and net-carbon-neutral methanol. The reason Fastwater is focusing on methanol as an alternative fuel for shipping it's, it's a sustainable way of powering shipping, but very importantly, methanol is a, is a liquid fuel. That makes things so much simpler in terms of integrating the fuel in many different types of vessels. If you look at the, the maritime business, the average age of vessels is, is pretty high. We're easily talking about 20, 30 years for a vessel. So if we would wait for new builds to slowly replace all the fossil powered vessels of today with renewable uh, methanol powered vessels, then it would take ages. So retrofitting existing vessels and the, the ability to do so using methanol as a fuel is, makes an important in way in speeding up that transition. Ships using methanol as fuel will enjoy an immediate reduction in SOx, NOx, 
PM and carbon dioxide emissions, which makes it an ideal fuel for operators who want to reduce their environmental impact. Because methanol is a liquid fuel, it means that existing engines can be easily and cost-effectively converted from diesel with minimal engineering requirements. Converting an existing boat to methanol includes both the engine and also the fuel storage system, but also safety systems. Uh, the uh, effort to convert it is quite limited now when we have an identified a design for how to do it. Uh, so in relation to convert uh, a boat to uh, methanol or replacing an existing diesel engine to another di uh, diesel engine uh, is uh, quite similar. There are not so many added systems. So operating the MB97 engine, uh, the methanol engine on board Pilot 120 SC is uh, very similar to operate a traditional diesel engine. The operator will actually not uh, notice any difference. The demonstration of the methanol-powered pilot boat was preceded by a bunkering operation made possible by SODRA, which transported the plant-based biomethanol used on board the boat by road to the pilot station. Standardized operating procedures were used to connect the tanker to the bunkering station with grounding in place to prevent electrostatic charge and a drip-free hose connection to prevent spillage. The truck was also connected to the station's tank level gauge in case auto shutoff was required. The M97 methanol was pumped to the bunker station for blending with additives before being connected to the pilot boat using a further drip-free connection, monitored by a separate tank level gauge to shut off the fuel flow once the required level was reached. A handheld management unit was used to start the fuel transfer to the boat and monitor the process until completion, making the entire bunkering procedure a two-person operation. Compared to other alternative fuels, methanol is um, easier to uh, bunker and supply because it can fit into how things are done with traditional marine fuels, which are liquid fuels. For bunkering methanol to large vessels, there has been more experience to date because we have vessels such as the Stena Germanica, which has uh, bunkered hundreds of times with fuel from um, truck transfer. Uh, with small vessels, the experience is still quite new. Um, so far, it's been positive, but we hope to have lots more demonstration and experience with this within the Fast Water Project. Methanol is already regulated for use as a fuel by the International Maritime Organization and has been accepted by classification societies, flag and port states, as well as by vessel operators and charterers as a safe, compliant, and efficient marine fuel. Methanol has a critical head start of experience building and applicability as an alternative fuel enabling vessel operators to move forward with emissions reduction in a phased way, at low cost to OPEX and CAPEX. To continue to grow in uptake, alternative fuels, including methanol, need the support of stakeholders, including local and national governments, which can provide the backing for new approaches that can lower pollution and reduce carbon dioxide emissions. The fast water project is really interesting in getting new fuels to our pilot boats and hopefully all perhaps our whole fleet of the Swedish Maritime Administration. Green methanol is going to change actually uh, how much um, pollution we put out and it's, uh, it's very good if we can use green methanol in a larger scale. It's important that the government just don't only po point their hand and say this is what we need to do. Uh, we have to show the people or show companies, the industry, that the government will be spearheading the change. And I think it's very nice and good to see that the Swedish Maritime Administration is spearheading this development in using green, green methanol instead of fossil fuels on their boats. 
Methanol is a very has a very important role when it comes to the alternative fuels for the future. Uh, the harbour infrastructure differs a bit because in Sweden the harbour infrastructure is mainly uh, driven by the mun municipal level. So therefore we need cooperation between the state level, the local levels and so on in order to secure that the infrastructure will work. So therefore we need uh, a lot of uh, support for this, uh, for uh, us politicians on the national level to support the infrastructure on the local levels regarding methanol.